Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then welcome, my name is Millie and today I am going to be copying three looks from one of my favourite YouTubers, Emma's Rectangle. Now Emma does loads of different videos about loads of different things but she started by doing makeup and on her Instagram there are so many different looks that I just absolutely adore and I wanted to try and recreate them. So here is look number one. I have two others to show you as well but I am going to show you what I do and all of the products that I use. They are all, I do believe, all different to the ones that she used in her original looks but I just recreated all of these with things that I already have Um, I haven't gone out and bought anything new these are just basic things that I already have in so if you want to see how I created three Emma's rectangle looks then just keep on watching so Day number one, I do have an inspiration picture for every look that I want to do in this video. So I will insert day number one's look here. So this look is colourful. All of them are colourful. Are all of them colourful? Yeah, all of them are colourful. And I have never done makeup in this specific way before for day number one. So it is a bright yellow inner corner there is also white on the lower waterline and lashes are long and defined they're not fake lashes i don't believe but they are just mascara 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 and the rest of the eye is just a neutral brown sort of look so i think i'm just going to use my contour powder like i always do um, the brows are really fluffy so I've done my brows really fluffy and it's just a neutral lip so that's what I have gone for as well. So let's just start this look. So as always I am starting with my contour powder. This one is from Revolution and it is the Mega Bronzer in 01 Cool and I'm just going to do what I always do and put it all across my eyelid, under my eye, through my crease and in this look as well it's very dark in the inner corner so I'm going to do that too. So that is as much bronzer as a uh, contour powder sorry that I am putting over my eyelid so it's really blended down here but in here it is really dark and then it's just sort of through my crease and also under my eye so then in a corner so i picked up this this is the elf putty eye primer in the shade white so what i'm thinking is i don't know how she created this look but what i'm thinking is if i put down a white primer base then whatever color i put on top will pop more so i'm going to use a flat brush and this primer and just pack it on that inner corner and I may just dab it in with my finger just to blend the edges out a little bit so I am just dragging this sort of along the outside of my lower lash line a little bit because on the picture that's how she has it but I've just sort of lightly blended that around the edges she doesn't have it completely blended um like fading into her skin it's sort of just there like really intense so i'm just gonna carry on building that up a little bit right i'm happy with how that's looking so now i'm going to go in with the color so i'm using the revolution reloaded marvelous mattes palette and I'm going to use this colour here, this second yellow in, that's really really bright. So I've got a flat sort of packing brush and I'm really getting a load of colour on there and then I'm just going to stamp it on. How cute. But I don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's too much I really like that 
So next she has a white uh, eyeliner in the lower waterline. So I'm going to do that next. So I have the MUA Intense Colour Eyeliner in Snow White, which is obviously just a white eyeliner. So I'm just going to scribble that in there, which just instantly makes your eyes look bigger. I love that tip. And then mascara. I think that's all that's left to do. So Emma has the longest, most luxurious eyelashes I've ever seen. I have long eyelashes, but nowhere near the level that she has. But I'm going to just build up loads of mascara to try and copy this look. <laughs> So that is one eye done. I will go off camera now and do the other eye and be back with you in a minute. So this is the finished look. Apologies if you can see that this eye is really red. I've got a hair or something in it and it's really annoying me. But I am obsessed with this look. I think I've done quite a good job of recreating it. Obviously the colour that she used is a little bit different on the inner corner. I think she used a Jeffree Star palette so obviously I don't have that because I just don't. I have a Revolution palette but I still think that this is a really good sort of copy for it and this could be applied to any colour. If you like blue, if you like, I was about to say pink but maybe not pink, it might look like you've got pink eye. <laughs> But this really could be applied to any colour. You could also just leave it white and it would just, you know, really brighten the um, the eye area. But I happen to think that this looks really cool yellow. I think that this looks really different and I love it. So I am going to go and take this makeup off now and try and extract this hair out of my eye. But let me know if you think I've done a good job of copying the look. I will put it back up here if I remember. <laughs> and I will see you again tomorrow for the second look. So it is now day two and the second Emma's rectangle look that I'm going to be creating today. I have pretty much the same base makeup on that I had on yesterday except I have loads more highlight on and I've got a glossy lipstick. The lipstick that I'm wearing today is the L'Oreal Paris Coconut Plump one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I wear this all the time. And I will insert the picture here of the look that I will be creating today. So this is a dark dramatic look the lid color is almost like a gunmetal sort of bluey greeny metallic shade there seems to be some sort of warm color through the crease almost like a burnt orange color through the crease that looks amazing with the dark bluey greeny lid color and the focal point is a metallic gold winged eyeliner that just looks absolutely amazing and I do believe she has lashes on it looks like she has lashes on I won't be wearing lashes I can't do lashes I'm not a lash person <laughs> firstly I don't own any lashes but secondly I, even if I did I wouldn't be able to put them on because I'm just not that skilled so that is the look that I'm going for today I have loads of possible things that I want to use. So I have two eyeshadow palettes that I think will work for the bluey colour on the lid. I have this one that is the Revolution Redemption palette Mermaids vs Unicorns um, and this has really great like metallic bluey and greeny colours so I think that that will work quite well and secondly I have this one that is the Soph X palette again from Revolution I love Revolution eyeshadows this one is oh completely broken now <laughs> this one is completely broken I've had it forever um, and this has a really great shade um, that I think will work perfectly and I don't think I've ever used oh my god look at that so I think that that will work because that is sort of refre reflecting blue. Um, 
so I do think I want to use that shade from the Soph palette but I have other options. So if those colours aren't quite reflective enough on the lid I do have this Barry M holographic eyeshadow topper that is exactly the colour that is like on the eyelids there and then for the eyeliner itself again the liquid melt liquid glitter melt eyeshadows I think that's what they're called they've got such a long name I don't know um, and this is in 24 karat gold and I think that as the eyeliner will look amazing I haven't practiced this look so we're just gonna we're just gonna try and get there together <laughs> So I just have concealer over my lids at the minute and I'm going to start with my bronzer that I haven't brought over here, BRB. So I'm going to start with my bronzer and I've also brought over this blush. This is the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush just to try and get a bit of warmth um, because on her eyes it is very warm through the crease. So I will start with my bronzer. This is the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer. I use this all the time and I will put that sort of above my crease and blend it out. On her look as well, it's sort of very dark right here. So I'm going to make sure that I get a lot of that in there. So that is just the bronzer all blended out. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the blush because in this inner corner it looks a little bit warmer. So I'm just going to blend in a bit of the blush just over where I've already put all of that. So then I'm going to go in with the Soph palette and in with this bluey browny duochrome shade. I think that's the closest one to what Emma has on in that picture so I'll pack that onto a denser brush and just pack it all over the lid So I feel like that's giving me a really good base colour actually. I'm just going to take my concealer brush and wipe sort of on the outer corner just to sharpen it up a little bit because I went a bit crazy blending there. So I think I just want to darken this up a little bit more, make it a little bit more blue. So I'm going to go in with this colour, the third one from the end, which is just a really dark blue, but it is quite bright that actually. I think it'll work. Ooh, yeah. And then I'm going to go in with the, the brightest blue in this palette. Oh my goodness, that is so bright. <laughs> and then just on the outer corner, I'm just going to blend that blue in a little bit on there. So another thing that Emma has on her look is a really, really bright inner corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pack on some of this, which is another Revolution product. This is the Skin Kiss Highlighter in Ice Kiss. I absolutely love this for an inner corner. It's what I also have on my cheeks today. So I just packed that on a brush and I'm going to pop that right in there. Oof. I'm also going to put a bit under my brow bone. I'm just going to try and pop a little bit of this Barry M holographic eyeshadow topper in the middle because I don't feel like that is metallic enough. I've not used these before. Oh, that's nice. That is really, really nice. I was not expecting that. That's blended out really, really nicely. Right, now for the fun bit. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is trace out where I want the wing to go in a white pencil 
because I don't have a white liquid eyeliner. If I did have a white liquid eyeliner, I would use that for this, but I don't have one. So what I'm going to try and do is draw out where I want that wing to go and then go over it with the product that I'm going to use. This is just the same one that I used yesterday. This is the MUA Intense Colour Eyeliner in Snow White. No, that's not working. Um, I'll tell you what I could use though. I could use the e.l.f. Putty Primer and an angled brush. So I'm going to try that. If that doesn't work, I'll just go straight in with the product. I just think I want something a little bit light underneath it just to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm just picking up a bit of the white putty primer that I used yesterday on my inner corner. I'm going to try I'm going to try and Oh, that's better. Okay, I'm happy with how that looks. I'm going to clean off this brush because I didn't bring it over here to use for that. <laughs> I'm going to take my angled brush and I'm going to get loads of product on it if I can. And then I'm going to stamp it onto where I put that white. Oh, look at that. That gold, I feel like when that catches the light, that just looks amazing. I do feel like I could have darkened up the lid a little bit, but too late for that now. That certainly is not the neatest wing in the world, but that looks amazing. I love that. So I'm going to whack on loads of mascara. I am obsessed. This looks so dramatic. So I'm just going to quickly, not quickly because it's definitely taken me 20 minutes just to do the one eye, but I'm going to go off now, do the other eye and then come and show you the finished look. So this is the second finished look. I will insert the picture here of the one that I am recreating. I I'm obsessed. I love this um, elf glitter at the best of times, as you know, but I will definitely be trying it out more as a liquid eyeliner. I just think that when it catches the light, that just looks amazing. And I've also never used that Barry M holographic topper before but I think that that's really, really effective over the top of those colours especially. I think that looks amazing. I love the gold and the blue together. I think that they really work together really well and I just think it looks really dramatic and just, I really, really like it. So this is the second look. I have one more to come, which is more of a wearable look than this. It is, um, more of an everyday, whereas this is a, a bit glam for everyday. So, day two done. I'll see you tomorrow for the third and final look. So, it is now day three, and I'm on to my third and final Emma's rectangle look. So, I will insert it here. I don't actually have a picture of this look. It's one that she did on a video and she did actually do a tutorial on how to do it. So, so I've done a little screen grab of the video and I will insert it here. It is a lilac all over the lid. There is a little bit of a darker purple just really close to the lash line and she uses a light blue to blend out the edges of the lilac but I love this colour, it's so me. I absolutely adore it. Also, apologies if I sound a little bit croaky. I had a really bad hair fever day yesterday, so I'm a bit... <laughs> but I thought this look might make me cheer up a little bit because it's just so bright and so beautiful. So in the original video, Emma uses a Jeffree Star palette. I don't have a Jeffree Star palette, but I will be using the Revolution Maxi Reloaded palette, the Monster Mattes. 
so this has a few different like lilac-y shades and it also has a really light blue shade so I will be using that to blend out the edges but I think to get the most out of this palette I'm going to go in with my elf eye primer first like I have in the other two looks so I'm just gonna get a really big fluffy brush and just get a little bit of this primer just to blank out my lid a little bit So you can see the difference there, that's just a little bit brighter so I'm hoping that the colours will go on a little bit more vibrantly um, on top of the white base rather than my skin tone. So I'm going to start with the blue, bluier shade, I'm going to start with this one and then I will go on to use this one on the lid and then maybe this one in the waterline. Um, not the waterline, like the lash line. Um, so I'll start with this one on a big fluffy brush and in her video she says to put it on above the crease so that you can see it when the eyes are open. So that is that blue base and that is basically just there to blend the lilac into so it doesn't have to be the most vibrant like you don't really have to be able to see it as like blue because you're just blending the lilac into it. So now I'm going to go in with this sort of brighter lilac just on the same brush and I'm going to pack that onto the lid and blend it into that blue that we just put on. So that is that lilac shade on, I'm just going to go in with a clean fluffy brush and just blend the edges away a little bit. I have also taken it under my under eye a little bit. So then I'm going to take a angled liner brush and I'm going to go in with the darker purple shade here. I'm going to pack that onto that brush and just wiggle that in at the lash line just for a little bit of definition and a little bit of a smoky lash line. So that just gives a little bit of like a fake liner look. Um, this one wasn't quite dark enough so I went in with this one which is a little bit darker and I will just pack a little bit more on the outer corner. But that is it. So easy, like I've been recording for 10 minutes but obviously I've been yakking. So I'm just going to whack on loads of mascara and then we'll be done. So that is the finished look and I would absolutely just wear this out. I think that, you know, with a nude lip and just basic face makeup, I think that that looks really effective but almost like just enough out of my comfort zone that I would wear that out. So I will quickly go off camera, do the other eye and then I'll be right back. So this is the third and final look. I did put a little bit more mascara on which sort of covers up the colour a little bit more makes it a little bit more wearable because you can't see as much of the lilac but I absolutely love it I wouldn't feel out of place just wearing this out and about I feel like this isn't crazy enough that people would like stop and stare you know that sort of thing I do feel as though I maybe need a little bit more blush just because it's so bright I feel like I maybe need a little bit more blush just to counteract it a little bit but other than that I am so happy with how this looks apart from my hair that is actually crazy but we're ignoring that 
So let me know in the comment section down below which of the three looks was your favourite and if there are any other beauty YouTubers, anybody that you want me to replicate, then please do let me know. I'm more than happy to do more of these videos. I've really enjoyed this one. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye!